Hi everyone, I'm here on the beautiful Sunshine Coast and look at this place. I'm here at the latest Mata Prize home and it's so gorgeous, an incredible entertainment area and living space. It really is absolute perfection from top to bottom. Right, so today I wanna make a dish that is for that day when unexpected guests are coming over and you wanna whip up something that's delicious and interesting but doesn't take very long. So we've got our beautiful Malulaba prawns that you can pick up locally everywhere and I'm gonna make cheats naan as well. So we'll make these little uh, beautiful carriers for our spice prawns, a little bit of our lettuce that again is from the local market. And yeah, it's a really quick, easy recipe. It's literally two ingredients for this cheats naan. So we've got self-raising flour and yogurt. And again, it's that beautiful local yogurt. It's creamy, it's incredible. And in with your yogurt. And you can just add in a little dash of water and then that dough is ready. So we wanna give it a quick knead. And it's really that simple. So now I'm just going to make this into smaller balls and then it's ready to go. So roll them up. Okay, time to make the mixture. Now I'm just gonna chop these into sort of bite-sized pieces and we'll make a little mayonnaise mixture for this one. So our kupi mayo, a little bit of wasabi, some turmeric, ground cumin, and a little bit of chili, and a little bit of paprika. Some salt, and pepper, we'll add citrus at the end so we can get that balance right. Mix that one together. So in with your prawns. And it's really that simple. Okay, let's put this pizza oven to work. We're going to cook our breads in there and get a really beautiful smoky flavor as well. So feed the chickens, dust on some flour and grab your dough. And we want to get this to about half a centimeter thickness. So little sort of mini ones. I'm gonna roll out a couple. So I have a tray in here, it's piping hot and add a little oil. Be careful when you're adding this. Mix it around a little bit with some butter paper or a brush. And we're gonna pop our nans on there. Ooh, and they are ready. They are done, now let's plate up. Now, I just like to rub on a little bit of butter. It keeps them soft, but well, butter also makes everything taste even better. And it's as simple as that. We've got a platter here, adding in that beautiful prawn mixture, a little spicy, a little creamy, but those fresh prawns really make it. None. And then this beautiful lettuce from the local farmer's market. It's crisp, it's fresh. And doesn't that look great? Quick, easy, entertaining dish for when those unexpected guests come over. Hmm. But the hard decision for the day, where shall we eat this? Let's go for a walk. Now, I haven't shown you this yet, but check out the butler's pantry. This place has the most incredible setup. It has everything. But where to eat? I think the beautiful dining table is amazing, but a bit too formal for this dish. So I think we should head outside. I just love it out here. This entertaining area it has so many spots for, you know, feeling cozy at the moment. We've got such a nice spot here. I still have the fire going on in the background from the pizza oven. 
it really is amazing. But so for this one, just simply, I think the best way is to just eat with your hands and just go in with whatever you like. A little bit of cucumber, a little bit of that prawn mixture and a little bit of that butter lettuce as well. And little morsels of deliciousness. Mm. Mm. Yum. <sighs> wow, this place really does have it all. It even has its own putting green. Let's have a hit.